Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia, and today I'm going to show you how you can control your Mac with your iPhone. First things first, we need the server for the actual computer. So if you have the App Store, hop into the App Store and we're going to go up to the search bar. And we're going to search for remote, and it'll be the first search, remote mouse. Okay, so it'll be the first one here, the remote mouse and utilities. And we're going to click on that. Now this is the one you need to download. Okay, so you can come over here and hit the download and install. I already have it installed, so I don't have to do that. But once you've done that, we can head out of the App Store. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize everything. I'm going to drag my phone. We're going to use that soon over to the side. And what we're going to need is once you've installed the remote mouse app, you can hit into uh, Launchpad and we're going to search for remote again. Okay, it'll be the first search, remote mouse. Okay, you're un running an unregistered copy of remote mouse, you do not have to register, that's just for trademarks and emails and things like that. So I'm going to hit no and then the server will pop up the top in this little Wi-Fi symbol under a kind of shape. Okay, so we're going to click on that and that means it's already running and if it's at the top that means the server is running on your computer so if you have that button at the top then you're all fine to go for the computer side okay so now we are going to hop on to the phone okay so we want to enter the app store and what we're going to search for on here is the same thing remote mouse you're going to hit on that and click download or if you already have it installed like I do, just follow along. Okay, so it's downloaded. I'm gonna head out of the App Store and we're gonna go into the app. Okay, here it is, remote mouse. And it's very simple. That is really all you need to do to start controlling your computer. It is so simple to do. One server on your computer, one server on your phone and you're ready to go. So now you have to configure with your computer. So you hit the start button and say, please wait, and then it'll Find your device over the same Wi-Fi network. So you both need to be over, over the same network and then it can successfully start. So this is the free version, but you just need the free version to do the main controls, like if you're heading into apps. If, say, you're streaming a video and you're sitting in the other side of the room, this is a great app just to kick, uh, play, stop, and exit if you don't want to get up, if you're lazy. But you just need the free version. But if you do want the full one, you get the full screen touchpad and full function keyboard without the ads. But for now, it's great. Okay, so you're going to hit continue in the top left. And then from there, that is your screen. You're back and you can control the cursor on the Mac with that touchpad. There's also options down here. Uh, you can minimize the keyboard. You can, I don't know if this is actually available for the free version, but you can do some more controls. And there's also an open of your dock, so there's quick opening for different things. And there's also the number pad. And there's also the stop. Uh, shut down, sleep, restart, log off. So there's main controls that you use if you're um, not on your computer. So if you just wanted to shut it down without getting up, uh, then this is just a great app to do it. The screen has to be on in order to start, otherwise you have to wake it manually. So first things to wrap up is download the server on both devices for the App Store or the website if you don't have the App Store on your iPhone and then be on the same Wi-Fi network, open the server on your computer, open the app on your phone, hit start, and if you're on the same network, then it should successfully begin. So that's about it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed and you learned how to control your Mac now or your computer, please share and subscribe, leave some comments and some feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.